English Intensive Program 011 Reading Banks The main purpose that banks have been serving since their inception is keeping our money safe for us. While keeping our money safe, they also let us earn a certain amount of interest on the money deposited with them. Traditional banks have been doing this and internet banks continue the same function. The only difference is in the way the transactions are made. Online banking has been around for quite a few years. In fact, it was introduced in the 1980s and has come a long way since then. The last decade has seen a profuse growth in internet banking transactions. Several pieces of legislation have also been introduced in this area. Though it began in the 1980s, it was only in the mid-90s that internet banking really caught on. What attracts customers to internet banking is the round-the-clock availability and ease of transactions. Studies estimate that internet banking still has a long way to go. There are several banks that have customers who prefer banking in the traditional ways. Statistics released by the FDIC show that only 40% of the banks in the US offer internet banking facilities worth mentioning. All the others may have an online presence but do not have enough online transactions to justify their presence on the internet. Some customers have been known to turn to internet banking due to dissatisfaction with the standard procedures and practices. The total absence of a human interaction appeals to some people. Some customers turn to internet banking facilities for security reasons. This is mainly because of customers being assured of banks' ability to keep transactions safe and secure.